how insurance works. We all know the mechanism of insurance is very simple. By insurance, the heavy loss that anyone or few of them may suffer is divided into bearable small losses by all. In other words, the risk is spread among the community and the likely big impact on one or few is reduced to smaller manageable impacts on all. In this lesson, we will study meaning of insurance, classification of insurance, functions and characteristics of insurance, and risk and insurance. After going through this presentation, you should be able to define insurance. State difference between insurance contract and wagering contract. Discuss the classification of insurance. Explain the functions and classifications of insurance and marketing of insurance. Insurance is a promise of compensation for specific potential future losses in exchange for a periodic payment. Insurance is designed to protect the financial well being of an individual, company, or other entity in the case of unexpected loss. Some forms of insurance are required by law, while others are optional. Agreeing to the terms of an insurance policy creates a contract between the insured and the insurer. In exchange for payments from the insured called premiums, the insurer agrees to pay the policyholder a sum of money upon the occurrence of a specific event. In most cases, the policyholder pays part of the loss, called the deductible, and the insurer pays the rest. Examples include car insurance, health insurance, disability insurance, life insurance, and business insurance. Insurance is a contract. A contract of insurance is a contingent contract. The general principles of law of contract must be complied with for a contract of insurance to be valid. Contract of insurance comes into existence wherever there is an offer from the person facing the risk and the underwriter or the insurer accepts it by issuing the policy. The contract of insurance in order to be a valid contract can be entered into only by persons competent to contract. A contract of insurance other than life insurance contract is a contract of indemnity. The insurer undertakes to indemnify the insured for loss or damage arising as a result of risk specified. In insurance contract, insurable interest is the subject matter in the contract of insurance. Insurance of contract is essentially based on principles of indemnity. Insurance contract is legally enforceable. Contract of insurance is based upon the principles of good faith that is, full disclosure of material facts required by both the parties to contract, and risk and premium are fixed on the basis of scientific methods. In a wagering contract, the interest in the asset or event is limited. Parties are interested in knowing only for the purpose of winning or losing upon the future events. In a wagering contract, there is no question of indemnity because no risk is covered. A wagering contract is void because it is not recognized by the law. There is no question of disclosure of material facts as it is not required by either party in a wagering contract and no such calculations are made in the wagering contract. Insurance can be classified as life insurance and non-life insurance. First, life insurance. The term assurance is referred to life insurance business. Loss due to risk is certain to happen. Death is bound to happen sooner or later. Human life is the subject matter of life insurance contract. Life insurance contract is a continuing contract, that is, long-term contract. It is not a contract of indemnity. Since life cannot be returned, insurable interest must be present only at the time of taking out the policy but need not be presented at the time of maturity of the policy. A life insurance policy can be surrendered by the assured before its maturity. Life insurance contains both the elements of security and investment. The term insurance is used for non-life insurance contracts. In the cases of insurance, 
Loss due to risk is not certain loss. May or may not happen. Generally, goods or property are the subject matter of non-life insurance. Insurance contract is usually for one year. Fire, marine insurance and other contracts are contracts of indemnity. In fire insurance, insurable interest must be present both at the time of effecting the policy and also at the time of occurrence of loss. In marine insurance, it must be present only at the time of loss. It is not necessary at the time of effecting the policy. In the case of marine and fire insurance, policy cannot be surrendered by the assured before its maturity. In the case of fire and marine insurance, the insurance contains only the protection element. Insurance is a part of the financial system. Financial system may be defined as a set of institutions, instruments and markets which gather savings and channel them to their most efficient use. Insurance as a part of the financial system provides valuable services to those affected by various risks or contingencies. It takes care of the financial consequences of certain specific contingencies. But in insurance terminology, such contingencies are called risk and they cause losses when they occur. It accepts the risk from people and corporate bodies who are exposed to them. It collects small amounts of premium which are pooled together to be called an insurance fund. This fund is used for investment purpose. It organizes compulsory insurance in certain areas as per the provisions of the law. Insurance is a device to share the financial losses which might occur to an individual or his family on the happening of a specified event. It helps risk sharing and risk transfer. Payment or claim amount is paid on the occurrence of contingency. A group of persons who agree to share the financial loss may be brought together voluntarily or through publicity or through solicitations of the agents. The risk is evaluated on the basis of probability theory before insuring since the premium payable on a policy is to be determined. Probability theory is that body of knowledge which is concerned with measuring the likelihood that something will happen and making estimates on the basis of this likelihood. The payment is made on happening of a certain insured contingency. The amount of payment depends upon the value of loss suffered due to the happening of that particular insured risk, provided insurance is there up to that amount. The uncertainty is changed into certainty by insuring property and life because the insurer promises to pay a definite sum at damage or death. Financial value. The risk must involve a loss that is capable of financial quantification. Insurance is concerned only with situations where monetary compensation is given following a loss. Homogeneous exposures. If there are thousands of people or properties having similar exposures, then the contributions could be comparatively small as the percentage of losses on the whole will decrease. Insurance is concerned only with pure risk. Speculative risk, where there is possibility of some gain, cannot be insured. This is generally the case, although certain modern developments may lead us to alter the statement in due course. Fortuitous by fortune. The loss must be entirely fortuitous as far as the person seeking insurance is concerned. It is not possible to insure against an event that will occur with certainty as in such a case there would be no risk, no uncertainty of loss. Insurable interest. The risk that is to be insured must result in some form of financial loss to the person taking insurance. Otherwise, any person could insure some other person's house or car so that when the house or car was damaged, he, in addition to the owner of the property, would receive compensation from the insurance company. Not against public policy. It is a common principle in law that contracts must not be contrary to what the society considers the right and moral thing to do. This applies to insurance contracts also. Risk of being fined by the police. 
A fine is intended to penalize the person and while insurance may be available to meet the losses following, say a motor accident, it is not possible to provide insurance to pay the fine of the driver who is found guilty of some offense. Marketing of insurance is done by agents and brokers. Other channels like bank assurance, online sales, telemarketing etc. are also used. The main aim is to motivate more and more people to join the group so that they pay premiums through which the claims and expenses are met and profit is earned by the insurance company and is further distributed among the policyholders as bonus or is offered as reduction in premium in case of without profit policies. Certain risks are not taken up by the insurance companies like war risk on land, deliberate losses, nuclear risk, etc. Some losses are more certain like wear and tear of machinery, damage of perishable goods, delay in transit of cargo, etc. Hence are not insured. But as the times change, the risks which are not insurable at one time become insurable in the future. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. By insurance, the heavy loss that anyone or few of them may suffer is divided into bearable small losses by all. Right or wrong? Right. A contract of insurance is not a contingent contract. Right or wrong? Wrong. Insurable interest is the legal relationship with the subject matter. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. Insurance is a promise of compensation for specific potential future losses in exchange for a periodic payment. Insurance is designed to protect the financial well-being of an individual, company or other entity in the case of unexpected loss. Some forms of insurance are required by law, while others are optional. A contract of insurance other than life insurance contract is a contract of indemnity. The insurer undertakes to indemnify the insured for loss or damage arising as a result of risk specified. In a wagering contract, the interest in the asset or event is limited. Parties are interested in knowing only for the purpose of winning or losing upon the future events. Insurance can be classified as life insurance and non-life insurance. First life insurance, the term assurance, is referred to life insurance business. Loss due to risk is certain to happen. The term insurance is used for non-life insurance contracts. Insurance is a part of the financial system. Financial system may be defined as a set of institutions, instruments and markets which gather savings and channel them to their most efficient use. The risk is evaluated on the basis of probability theory before insuring, since the premium payable on a policy is to be determined. A fine is intended to penalize the person and while insurance may be available to meet the losses following, say, a motor accident, it is not possible to provide insurance to pay the fine of the driver who was found guilty of some offense. Marketing of insurance is done by agents and brokers.